Welcome to Everything About Web. My name is Jamie Cavanaugh, and this is the One Column CSS Layout Part 2 Tutorial. Okay, so um, this is where we left off in Part 1. So in Part 1, we set up our file organization, and we created our new HTML file. We um, added our starter code, and um, we also created our CSS file and did the same thing um, added our starter CSS code and made sure that we attached our CSS file to our HTML page. So in part two what we're going to talk about is how to add content to our page. So let's just review what our um, design looks like. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at our PSD file. We've got our um, header that has some navigation that we need to add. We have our um, content that has a photo and we've got a heading, a paragraph of text, and then in our footer we've got some copyright information. So that's the content that we're going to be adding um, in this part. So let's go back to Dreamweaver. This is where we um, and did part one and we're going to add content um, so we need to add containers we need to add divs where this content can live so what we're going to do is we're going to add a um, navigation div to our header and we're going to add a um, div for our photo and for our main text in our content div okay so let's go ahead and um, and do that. So I'm going to make sure that my cursor is inside of my header div. So it's between the opening div and the closing div. So my cursor is right inside. And I'm going to go up to Insert, Layout Objects. I'm going to select Div Tag. And under this third, in this third field, I'm going to put I'm going to um, type in nav because this is where I'm going to put my navigation. Make sure that this top um, drop down is uh, that the at insertion point is selected because I want it to be inserted right where my cursor is. And I'm going to select new CSS rule. And what I want to um, check here is that my rule is being defined in my styles.css. So make sure um, that that is selected. And um, Dreamweaver was smart and had that selected already. So just double check that. Say OK. Um, this window is going to allow me to add properties to this div, but I'm not going to do that right now. So I'm just going to say OK. I'm going to say OK. I again and Dreamweaver has added my div and has placed some dummy text in there which I'm going to just leave it there for now but um, we're going to eventually take that out. Now if I um, toggle over to my CSS we'll notice that Dreamweaver has added and I'm just going to clean that up a little bit, um, has added this nav div to my CSS. So now I um, when I start adding properties to it, um, you know, I can do that because it's in my CSS file. So we're going to notice that uh, Dreamweaver is going to do that as we add our divs. Dreamweaver is going to add, you know, that to our CSS. So that's fantastic. In our content div, we want to add a couple additional divs. We're going to add a div for our photo, and we're going to add a div for our main text. So I'm pretty much going to do the same thing that I did um, for the header div. I'm going to make sure my cursor is in between the opening div for content and the closing div for content. And I'm going to insert a div tag, and I'm going to call it photo select new CSS rule, make sure that Dreamweaver is defining it in style.css, which it is. I'm going to say OK, 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 and Dreamweaver has put some dummy text in there again, which is fine. Now I want to add my 
um, div for my main text and I'm going to add it right after my photo div. Okay, so here's my photo div. So I'm going to place my cursor right after it. And notice it's still within, you know, I still want it within my content div. So I'm going to go back up to layout objects, select div tag. And this one I'm going to call main text. New CSS rule. It is being um, defined in my style.css. Say OK, 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 and there it is. And again, if I toggle back over to my CSS, um, here it is in my CSS. So that's fantastic. And one of the benefits and great uses of Dreamweaver is it does that for you. It adds it to the CSS. So um, I'm pretty much good to go because I've got my containers all set up, my divs. So now I have, I can go ahead and um, insert my content. Now if we just look at the page, I'm going to preview it in Firefox. Um, you know, it doesn't really look like very much because we haven't added our content. But we're going to do that now. So uh, first thing I'm going to add is my navigation. And let's just revisit our design. Notice that our navigation, we've got um, educators, families, and students. And we're going to create this navigation um, how, in a way that most um, navigation is created on, co on contemporary sites. And that's not image-based um, navigation, but rather it's CSS-based navigation. And by CSS-based navigation, I'm, we're going to, I'm talking about the use of the list tag to create your navigation. So rather than making these, uh, you know, images, these are going to be, um, this is going to be text that we're inserting into a unordered list. And then we're going to style it. Okay. And um, so let me show you how you do that. So in our nav div, I'm going to go ahead here now and finally just delete this dummy text. And I want to be sure that, again, my cursor is in between my nav opening and closing tag. And I'm going to add a unordered list. And the tags for um, an unordered list are a UL tag followed by a closing UL tag. Okay, and um, this I need those tags whether I'm making an unordered list or if I was if I were creating an ordered list, it would be OL. But they have an opening and a closing tag, and then within the um, unordered tags, I need to create a li and a closing li tag for my list items okay so my very first list item is that very first um, section for my navigation which is for educators so I'm gonna make a list item called educators and I need two others so yeah, I'm going to just copy and paste, right? And just change these. So the second one is families. And the third one is students. Okay. And we'll see now that that's showing up in my HTML. It's completely not positioned correctly. It's not styled. We're going to do that in part three, but at least the content is there, which is which is fantastic. So um, we're going we're going to uh, create presentation, some styling, and um, uh, actually positioning layout for that later on. But let's continue by. Um, inserting the rest of our content into our page. So now that we've got our navigation, we want to continue and add into our photo div, we're going to add that main photo. 
So here is the div. We want to be sure that we've got our cursor in between the opening and the closing div. And we're going to go up to our insert menu and we're going to insert an image. And um, we've got our images folder in our final web. So we're going to select that. The name of the photo is this Egyptian empire. So we're going to choose that. And I'm, I am going to um, add my alt text. This is important for accessibility. Um, if someone has turned off their images or has a reader, your alternative text is being read. So uh, it is, it's smart and best to add that. So I've done that. And there we go. We've got um, our image. It's not in the right place, um, but it's in, to our, it's in our page. So um, we have added that to our um, page. So it's ready for um, doing some styling later on. So next let's add our text. And for our text, I'm going to refer back to my Photoshop document. And I need both this heading, which is right here, the rise of the Egyptian empire. So I'm going to select it and copy it. Now I'm going to give you a little um, hint or a little tidbit that uh, is, has been really helpful for me. Sometimes you can run into problems when you're cutting and pasting text from Photoshop and definitely when you're cutting and pasting text from um, Word. What can happen is you paste it into your HTML and it, it can have some gremlin, what I call gremlins, things that you can't really see when you're coding, but when you preview it in a browser, they show up as these odd little characters. So it's a smart idea to um, paste your text into something like text edit. If you're using text edit, make sure that you have it set at plain text as I have it set. You'll know it's on plain text if you can see the make rich text. And you'll know it's on plain text if there are no, um, there's no toolbar so it doesn't look like Word. Um, you know you're then using it as a plain text editor. So what I'm doing is I'm just copying my um, text into that to make sure that I don't get any weird characters because um, that can happen and when you're doing a lot of um, cutting, copying and pasting of text you really want to avoid having to go back and, and take out all those little gremlins. So now that I've pasted into this, this um, plain text editor. I'm, I'm just going to copy it from here. Um, one other thing I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and get that copyright information also while I'm at it. And copy that into my okay, plain text. And so now here is the heading and the paragraph of text that's going to go into my main text div. So I'm going to go, I'm, I've copied this and I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. And this is going to get pasted right, right in here. So I'm going to make sure that I've selected this dummy text. I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to paste my text in here. And you can see it's it's running all together. It's it's um, we still have to add a little structure here. So we're going to do that n now because we're going to need to style this. So what would be really smart is to mark this up and identify what part of this text is the heading and what part of this text is the paragraph. So I'm going to add a um, heading one tag to my heading, the rise of the Egyptian empire. And then I'm going to add a paragraph tag to my paragraph of text. Oops. Okay. So now we've got um, a little bit of markup here so that when we add some CSS to it, it'll be easy because we can add the CSS 
um, to these H1 and paragraph tags. And now I'm going to go back to my text edit. I've got this copyright information and that needs to go in my footer. So here, here's my footer div and I just want to make, make sure that I'm you know between the opening and the closing div and I'm just going to paste that in there. And we'll see again, it's not in the right place. It's not styled correctly. Um, and notice that when we insert it from TextEdit, TextEdit puts in our copyright character, but we actually want to change this because um, characters such as a copyright or a trademark or even like um, quote marks and M dashes are created with um, HTML characters rather than these um, actual uh, symbol characters. So I'm going to change this to an HTML character by um, highlighting it and going up to my insert menu, selecting HTML, and notice there's one called special characters and we'll see that copyright is one of the choices. So HTML, special characters, copyright. If I select that, Dreamweaver is going to place my um, HTML code for that character. And you want to do that because if I left that symbol character in there, it could easily default and show up as an odd character in a browser. So um, make sure that you are using HTML characters when you have special symbols like that. So let's save this and preview it in our browser. Okay, and notice that I'm using Firefox. I suggest you use Firefox and I'll tell you why. I know a lot of you um, are on a Mac, so you might want to use Safari. Safari is such a small part of the population who uses it. Um, it's, I think, something like 3%. So for Mac users, um, actually there's a, a larger part of the population who uses Firefox. So when you're developing websites, it, it's better to use a browser that more people use. So that's why I use Firefox. And the other reason is when you use Safari um, and you are previewing in the browser, some of you may have run into this issue already, you change your page or your CSS, you go to preview it in Safari and you don't see the change. And the reason is that in Safari you have to refresh your page in order to see the change where Firefox um, doesn't have that issue. So I just, I would strongly recommend that you use Firefox if at all possible. So here's where we are with our page. We have our content in our page, but it doesn't, it doesn't look at all like um, how we want it to look, right? So we have to add um, some presentation to it. We have to go in here and add some styling. So we're missing our logo. We're going to style our navigation. We're going to position our photo and our paragraph and heading and same thing with our copyright. And we're going to do all of that in our next tutorial, which is part three, where we'll talk about um, adding presentation to the page. So we're going to be working pretty much exclusively with CSS um, in part two. So I hope that you will continue and watch part three. Thanks for watching Everything About Web. Please visit us at www.everythingaboutweb.com and on YouTube and Twitter.